Salaam your dua for Imam Dia, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cure him. He just had a surgery for a tendon that he had a problem with. He had a surgery this morning. He is in calm. He is going to get from the dua. Azamullah wa ta'ala. بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. In Surah Al-Isra, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, وقد ربك ألا تعبدوا إلا إياه وبالوالدين إحسانا. Your Lord has decreed that you worship none but Him and show kindness to your parents. Once a man came to the Prophet ﷺ and asked him, Who deserves my respect the most? The Prophet replied, Your mother. The man asked, And then after that, Your mother. And after that, Your mother. And after that, Your father. After the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes the rights of the parents. Whatever problems you think you have on the day of judgment, all of those problems will pale in compared to this one. When you don't show respect to your parents, then there is a curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on you. And when the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is on you, the doors to all the other sins open up. But when you take care of your parents, the du'as of your parents are with you. And when the du'as of your parents are with you, then you are saved from shamelessness. It becomes easier for you to wake up for Fajr, and it becomes easier for you to guard yourself from filthy language because the du'as of your parents are with you. Most scholars even say that if you are in Salah and your mother is calling you, break your Salah and go listen to your mother. This is to stress the importance of obeying your parents. There is a story of a man who was walking with his son in the park. They are walking and the son sees a crow on a tree. He says, Father, what's that? The father says, it's a crow. Again, the son asks him, Father, what's that? The father says, it's a crow. This goes on for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then the father with a smile on his face records in his journal. Today, my son asked me about a crow 30 times. 30 years go by, and now the son is a grown man. The father calls the son on the phone and says, Son, can I come over for a little bit? The son says, Dad, uh, now is not a really good time. I'm really busy right now. The dad says, Just bear with me. I just need 10 to 15 minutes. That's all I need. The son replies and says, Okay, sure, whatever. You can come. The father comes over and takes his son back to the same park. They are taking a walk, and the dad sees a crow in the tree. Son, what's that? Seriously, father? That's a crow. Again, the father asks, what's that? Is this a game, father? It's a crow. Why do you keep asking me the same question? The father pulls out his journal and says, son, this is something that happened 30 years ago. We were walking down this park, and you saw a crow. You asked me 30 times, and I gave you a smile every time. You couldn't handle twice. What are we giving to our parents? I'm not even bringing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the picture. The fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned Himself and then the parents. You would think about that. What have they done for us, and what have we done for them? How many parents are in hospitals, standing in front of a glass box with their baby inside, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, feeding off vending machines? And that same kid grows up and doesn't have the time to make a phone call. How many mothers have almost died giving birth, and now it is so difficult to respond to her call? You know how unfair it is that you are the most important thing to them, but now they are so insignificant to you. Our parents are our life. They gave up their life for us. They gave up careers for us. They, they gave up vacations for us, and they even gave up friends for us. They had their entire life planned until you came along, and then you became their, then you became their plan. 
you became everything. And you have the nerve. One little thing doesn't go your way and you snap. We're not even talking about Islam, we're just talking about moral decency. What have they done for you and what do you give them back? What do you give them back? I'm telling you, if you don't earn your parents' du'as, nothing good will come of your life. If you don't earn your parents' du'as, nothing good will come of your life. It doesn't take much to please our parents. Clean your room, take out the trash, make a five minute phone call, it's not that difficult. Go out of your way to help your parents and show them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you are concerned with your faith in the afterlife. I pray that Allah Azawajal gives all the tawfiq to implement what was said and heard. Anything I said wrong is from me and the shaitan. Anything I said right is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanakallahumma <coughs> bihamdik nashadu wa la ilaha illa anna astaghfiru. جزاك الله خيرا وجه الله مصباح مصباح ما شاء الله powerful one it gets better by the time he did that before he did uh, talk before it wasn't as powerful as good as this one ما شاء الله this is the idea this is the idea is to get them not only to study but to always show you what they learn at the same time to be practical and to raise inshallah generation that can call people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, able to walk to the city council and vote for the voting that is going on right now. This is a message for the parents to go and cast your vote for those people who can make a difference in your life and in your community. And that's what we are trying to do, raise practical Muslims who are good for themselves, good for the community, and inshallah successful in the year after. What a message. Parents, where are you and where you came from and who are their your parents? It is so powerful and so touchy and so real at the same time when he tells you just go out of your way. You're not really going out of your way. Taking some trash or answering the call or doing something little for your parents makes a difference in their life that they dedicated truly for you. Even when they give you the wrong advice, they gave it to you out of love and out of the best that they could have done to help you and to take care of you. True, if their dua is with you, I guarantee you, even if you're not a good Muslim, even if you're not a good Muslim, things will run good in your life. Wallahi, they will run good in your life. The dua of the parents is unreal, accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether it is positive or negative, because some people may be good and righteous and their parents are not happy with them. Many stories to talk about, don't have time for that, but the reality is you need to beg for Allah to get it from your mom and your dad every day if they are alive, and if they're not, make sure that you say, one of the righteous predecessors was asked by someone, he said, Am I Saleh? Am I Rajulun Saleh? Am I a righteous person? He said, In kunta tad'u li walidayk fa anta minhum. If you make dua for your parents, then you are one of them because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Wa waladun salihun yad'u la. A righteous son who makes dua for them. So if you make dua, inshallah you will get. Make sure if they are alive, get their dua. And if they are dead, give them your dua. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdi. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa natubu ilaika. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.